Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I was working on something else today, and uh, well, I got my Canon 70D back, and I want to talk about this. Now, if you probably realized reading the title already, Canon broke my camera. They broke it, and they arrogantly enough thought I was stupid enough that I would pay to have it fixed. So, let me, if anybody doesn't know the story about my 70D, let me just kind of rewind back to the beginning of everything. My uh, Canon battery, a few weeks after his just past warranty, shorted out and fried the DC board and the main board in my uh, Canon 70D here. So, I sent it into Canon. They replaced the DC board, replaced the main board, and sent it back to me. Once I got it, I realized quickly, oh uh, well, it didn't really autofocus like it should. As a matter of fact, the autofocusing through the viewfinder didn't work. No go. Luckily, through live view, it did work, and I continued to use it for three or four months in live view. And the reason I continued to use it is because, well, I, one, I needed a camera. Two, uh... The sensor, if you did any kind of even like just regular video, like I'm doing right now, it would uh, have hot spots. So I never could use it even as a video camera, which is really terrible. Now I figured the the sensor is already where I could, was bad enough. I couldn't use it for any kind of like you know night photography, anything of that nature, especially for anything of motion because well those big magenta hot spots are kind of hard to edit out in video. Especially if you're doing a time lapse. So I ended up not using it a lot at night. You know, at least if anything other than stills. Of course, stills, I could edit it out, so it wasn't a big deal. But for video, the same like when I got it back, I got these really bad magenta hot spots on the sensor. Like really huge clusters of them in a lot. So, you know, I figured the sensor was never that great to start with. I'll just save up my money, and I'll have it sent into Canon. They could replace the sensor and figure out what they left off or undone or forgot to plug up in the camera while they're at it and fix the focusing. Because it's like there's something like wasn't getting a good connection. And like I said, I don't know. So I got my ADD and waited to send it in, waited to send it in. And I, like most people, I procrastinated and procrastinated. So I finally got around like the last month, like, hey, Go ahead and send my 70D in and get it fixed. Yeah, okay. So I boxed everything up, and this time I sent it with the lens, sent it with a new battery, and I even sent it with old, uh, old, old Kingston memory card just so they could test it. And so I boxed everything up, sent it down to Canon DeVal in the Philippines. And a week later, uh, well, they contacted me, and they sent me a bill for a mirror box. What's wrong with the mirror box? Mirror works. Yeah. Mirror works in it. What's the big deal? All right. So, anyway, I'm wondering what's wrong with the mirror box. I told him, look, left here, nothing wrong with the camera other than the autofocusing system through the viewfinder. Didn't work. You know, you know probably something left undone. And, uh, that's what I figured. They probably left something done in it. So, I kind of got pissed off the more I thought about it. The more I thought, you know, they done broke something. So, I told them, brought bluntly, and I wasn't very happy with them. I'm going to send it back, which they did. But now, let me see if it's in the book. Here you go. Look at this, guys. Guys, gals. Let me zoom in here. F zero zero. Okay. So what this bluntly means is there is no signal going to this lens no more. It will not even let me focus unless I put a USM or a uh, manual focusing lens on here. It acts just like there's a manual lens on here. So there's no connection. It has no idea what. Uh, it even tells you manual focus right here. 
although it's in autofocus on the lens. But nothing's working in this lens. There's getting there's no connection whatsoever. So I don't know what they've done. Maybe they they pulled this out, they tore something, and they want me to be stupid enough to pay you for them breaking something? No, absolutely not. So yeah, no matter what I try, it will not focus. You know, it just there's no power or something going to the lens. So I'm pretty upset about it, to say the least. I don't want this video to sound like a rant, but it's kind of like a, uh, what do you call it, consumer alert message. You know, watch who you send things in, especially like here in the Philippines, because a lot of people seem to have, you know, passionate fingers. They screw up more than they actually fix. What was upset me enough is, you know, they broke it. They want me to pay for it. And they haven't even figured out what was wrong with the focusing. So, yeah, I told them to send it back. And, uh, they were supposed to get a professional service person to contact me in regards to me saying that it was they broke it. A week and a half goes by. I was just in contact from today. Like, hey, I hadn't heard nothing from you people. Instead, DHL shows up at the front door with a camera. No email, no tracking information, no nothing. Just send it back. You know, screw the customer. You know, if I think if I uh, get screwed like that, I'll just go to start using Sony. You know, at least if Sony doesn't have the best customer service in the world, hey, at least I'm not paying as much for a Sony camera as I would one of these. Now, this may not be a professional camera, but dadgummit, these still cost you $1,200 brand new without a lens. $1,200 may not seem a lot to Sony, and that's a lot to a lot of folks, you know, especially non-professionals that don't go out and shoot 15 different things or have commercial contracts or sit in a studio all day long with people running in and out the door. You know, not everybody can just afford $1,200. So I'm speaking out for the consumer here. You know. So yeah, I'm upset about it a little bit. I don't want to sound like a uh, Randy because I don't want my viewers to listen to somebody complain. I just think, you know, if I'm going to pay kind of a premium for a camera, I should at least get premium-ish service. Yeah, it's not a 1DX. You know, it's not a 5D Mark IV. But still, you shouldn't be screwing over your customers this way. So, yeah, I, I bluntly told them now on, I'll just invest my money in Sony. So, you know, I've been thinking about it anyway, so why not? You know, anyway, I wonder if anybody else has had any issues like this. And then what there's... Uh, you know what? What end? What did they end up doing? You know what? What? What happened to you? What? How did you get it resolved? Did you not get it resolved? Or you just said hell with uh, Canon altogether? You know the the market's going to where everything. Everybody wants to go to something that offers more at a lower price. That's the way the market always is. And currently, Sony's offering that. No, I'm not a Sony fanboy. Now I've used Canon for years. You know every ca uh, camera I have owned has been Canon since around. 2001 and uh, be quite honest with you uh, you know I, I like Canon for the ergonomics like for the layout but you know if they're going to treat me like this I'm, I'm not brand loyal I'll just buy a freaking uh, EF uh, e-mount adapter and hop right over to the Sony Alpha line in a heartbeat doesn't bother me it's my money and at least if I'm going to spend my money on something at least I'm not going to spend it a lot of money and still get screwed over. You know, Sony may not have the best customer service in the world, but hey, at, unless you buy one of uh, Canon's flagships and pay for their uh, professional services, you don't either. So, anyway, that's it for this little small vlog. I hope it don't seem like a rant. I just kind of a lot of customer awareness, whatever you want to call it. You know, like, anyway, if anybody else has had any issues like this, you know, post down in the comment below. Let me know what, you know, how did you get it resolved? Because all I've got right now is a wall decoration. I guess I can just stick it up on my shelf over here and say, look, everybody, that's what a DSLR was. You know, just like all these old cameras, you know, nostalgic ancient cameras everybody puts on the wall when you go into a, their offices and stuff. Yeah, mine's going to have a 70D sitting up there, it seems. So, anyway, everybody, uh, that's it for this video. I don't want to seem like a rant. 
just kind of a blog, kind of upset. Uh, I'm kind of upset about it. As dad gummit anybody should be. But anyway, <laughs> I guess now I got this video over with. I can get back doing the review I was working on. <laughs> anyway, see y'all next time.